Hey, this is going to be a uh, quick video and we're going to uh, show you how to install uh, nice LED strips in a selective end model machine. Um, this particular machine has two of the long LED strips so before making your purchase um, you want to make sure that you, you know, the, the, what you're replacing is at least five feet long and uh, the complete on-site installation should take uh, less than five minutes. Um, basically with your kit you're going to get one power transformer and it's going to have Velcro. And what we're going to do is come here on this particular model of the machine, the connector is located here. Um, it would be possible that the company that makes this machine could have changed the location of this connector or your machine could be different because Selective End makes a lot of different models of uh, these beverage machines. So basically with your power transformer it's going to have a connector so you just plug it in. And then what I'm going to do is peel off this Velcro. Put my wires on the inside and I'll just stick this right here. So that will stay in place. This is not going to be used. Um, on this machine, the light bulbs are here. You could actually just leave them because they'll never come on or uh, you may choose to remove them. Um, when you purchase your kit, you'll be getting two of these long LED strips. Uh, you'll get this one wire that's going to run between them. And uh, just the first step that you want to do is I'm going to put this strip in right here and I want to pay attention to the location. Uh, they'll have male and female connectors. So this plug here is a male. Um, so I'm going to have this run down to the bottom. So I'm going to put the female connector uh, on the bottom. And if you make a mistake doing this, uh, you know, it's easy to resolve it. So I'm just sliding the strip in, down, and then I'm putting it here and I'm just going to lift it up a bit. So once I have this strip in place, um, then I'm, I'm going to uh, go ahead and just uh, use uh, two tie strips, straps to hold it in place. Here. Now I keep all my wires on the inside of the door so nothing hits on the hinge. And here is where I'm getting my uh, 12 volts direct current. So I'm just going to keep this on the inside. And I'm just going to connect this to this LED strip here. I have my female. So I have that connected. Um, at this point, if you wanted to plug in the machine, you could test it. Um, for the most part, they work without too much trouble. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and finish the installation. So I'm coming, coming in, down, and lifting up a bit. that strip in place down here. Now here's the connector. I just keep this on the inside of the door. Connect it to this strip. And just keep all the all the parts within the door. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and then plug it in just so you can see how nicely these light it. Okay, now, now I guess here it's just a picture of our sign face. Uh, everything is fully illuminated. Um, in the event that you do get a, a long shadow right here, like it would look like a bar, um, that would have to do with the spacing of the LED strip. Um, if that's the case, it's the shadow is being created because the existing fluorescent light bulb is still in place. So you can leave the fluorescent light bulb in there because it will never come on because you've disconnected the power. Uh, you know, if you do get the shadow, you could take out the fluorescent light bulb, or I'll just show you how you can um, space out the LED strips to avoid that uh, shadow. So here, like after I first powered it, I just took a look at what I have, and with the space somewhat evenly, the LED light does not shine across this bulb. Um, again, you could just take out the bulbs, or uh, 
kind of just space the strips so that the uh, the light does not uh, catch that and create a, a bar shadow on your side face. Um, the final step of your installation, you'll want to take a pair of scissors or cutters, just remove this excess off the uh, ends of the tie straps just so it looks nice. Um, all these wires should just be dressed nicely.